my channel, I'm going to be doing my Ipsy bag unbagging. All right, so originally what I was gonna do, it was um, a first impressions try on kind of situation, but I'm not doing that because um, if you've seen my more recent videos, like my night routine and my car vlogs, you had have heard me say that my skin has been breaking out and it, it's still breaking out. I've had one right here, one right here. I have a ginormous one right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it hurts. So what I'm going to do is I am not going to try them on. I'm just going to give first impressions and things like that um, because I'm going to be going out of town for a whole week and I want to have something that I can put up. So this is actually probably going to go um, live a few days after I filmed it. So Ipsy bag. If you don't already know what it is, it costs about $10 per month and you get five sample size or deluxe size items and um, they send it right to your door. So it also comes with um, every single uh, month it comes with this card and this one says volume up. And the other side, it says sorry, can't hear ya. Or you, really. And then it just says, turn down the dial way to the right. This month's it hashtag, hashtag, um, Ipsy Volume Up challenge you to fearlessly express yourself. Be seen, be heard, shout your message from the rooftops. Yeah. Um, if you subscribe to Ipsy, it, Ipsy, it, you already know, but if you don't, it comes with an app and it tells you all the things that you're getting for the month and what the bag looks like. And it also tells you what other things that you could have gotten. It gives you all the products in the Ipsy bag. Like when I first went on it, I I don't know if I pressed on it wrong or what I was thinking, but I literally went to all of the products and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting all of those. How amazing is that? But clearly I was wrong. So again, sorry about the glare of the windows in the way. So this is what the app looks like. There is the preview of the bag, and then if you just keep scrolling, there's all of the products that I got. Oh gosh, apparently not. Okay, here it goes. And you want to know more about your products that you just got, then you can go onto the app and you can look at it. So I'm only going to read you one product, so I'm going to read you about the nail polish. It says Koki Cosmetics Nail Polish. Oh, there's another color. That would have been cool. It's like a burnt red kind of whatever. I like the blue. Alright, Koki is throwing some shade. The good kind. With these shout out loud hues that scream volume up. Streaks and chips are for amateurs, and you are not an amateur. This polish is so opaque and chip resistant that it looks and lasts just like a gel. Ipsters, not hipsters, Ipsters, who get this product in their glam bag will receive the shade Atlantis at last or Gone Rio. I'm assuming the Gone Rio is the burnt ready kind of color. At Atlantis at last is the ultimate eye-catching cobalt blue you'll be seeing everywhere this summer. And Gone Rio, I was way wrong, <laughs> is the prettiest pink coral that looks kind of like our favorite boozy fruit punch. So yeah, and it even gives you um, tips on how to apply and all that stuff. I'm not going to read it. I don't even read it. I don't even do what they ask because I'm a rebel. And every month they give you a bag, and these bags are super cute. So this is, this bag this month, it's cloth, it's got lips, it's got polka dots, it's um black, and it has like a uh, light khaki color around it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and open her up, and first things that are popping out right here are these... <clears throat> Face masks. I have two of them. I have this Aloe Rescue Bio Republic Skincare 
Revitalizing Fiber Sheet Mask with Vitamin E for All Skin Types. Dermatologist tested, formulated without parabens, and cruelty free. It also says right in the corner right here, it's for after sun. So I'm assuming you get too much sun on your face. I'm waiting for a refocus. All right, so you get too much sun on your face, that's what it is. So it's infused with natural aloe vera juice and vitamin E. I actually have one more, and I think I got in an, um, a uh, BoxyCharm subscription, and I haven't used it, so I, I think I need to use them more because I think they're coming a little bit more popular. And so the other one I have is a green tea detox. It is a purifying fiber mask with vitamin E for all skin types. Again, just like this one, it's dermatologist tested, formulated without parabens, and cruelty free. This is just to detox your skin. Um, so it is gives a boost of antioxidants and helps remove excess sebum. I think that's how you say it. Um, reduces the appearance of blemishes and imperfections and for clean and supple refined skin. So apparently I need some green tea on my face. So maybe I'll try this tonight. So that's what's one thing that was in there. This is my first official week off of school and I've been been really super lazy and drinking a lot of soda and today I was like, I need to stop, so more water. All right, next thing I see is this whipped, I don't know how you say it, but it's from NYX and it's called Cocoa Bean and it is a leak, a leak. That was, that was lip and cheek combined, leak. It's a lip and chin color. I'll go ahead and swatch it. What? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, so again, leap and cheek. So I look, I opened it. It's got a doe foot applicator. So that's why I was like, how is it? It looks like it's for your lips. And then I read it again. I'm like, oh yeah, leap. There I go again! Lip. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fan of um, liquid cheek kind of stain, so if I do use it, it'll probably for my lips. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. And me personally, I'm not a fan of brown lips, so I probably won't wear it. Probably a horrible spot to swatch that. So that's what that looks like. It's pretty, but it's just, it's not my color, so I'm probably going, probably going to give that to my niece. A lot of these things, you know, I might as well just cancel the whole subscription because most of the things I give to my niece. All right, next thing in my box is this. It is, it's kind of cute. It's tiny, but it looks like you open it, and it's got a design of like a magazine. And this is Long Wearing Staining Powder Blush. And it is by The Balm. And this is what it looks like. It looks too brown for me. I don't know, maybe brown looks good on me and I just don't realize it. But if I don't like it, I'm not gonna wear it. All right, so I'm gonna swatch it. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna swatch it, it's soft. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna do it on the back of my hand. So that's that color. I'll try it first, see if I like it. Actually, it's not that brown, it's more of a, a brown mauve -y kind of color. I'll try it, because I'm looking for a good um, blush that I like. So again, that is the blush that I just tried on. That's the balm. And that is in the color 6M127. Yeah, it's a great color name. Next thing I have in here is nail polish. It is by Koki Professional 
formaldehyde, oh god, <laughs> formaldehyde DPB and Tuluni free, Tuluni, and this. All right, let's see. This is called Atlantis at last, and I do like blue. I do. It's more of a statement color. I was thinking for a second that it kind of reminds me of um, the, um, so this is what it looks like. I'm trying to get my face out of there, otherwise it'll focus. And there's, I'm, <laughs> I'm using natural light right now. I'm, I'm in the market for studio light, but that's why there's a glare coming off because the window is like right in front of me. And this is, I thought it kind of looked close to kale polish, but it's not even, not even close. This is more dark. Let me show you. I don't know about the, the cap. It seems kind of cheap. Granted, this whole bag was $10. So straight out, um, I'm not going to, no, I'm gonna paint my toe. I'll be right back. All right, so I painted my toe and when I opened it up, I don't know if it was because it was in the heat or whatever the case is, but the brush is a little, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, is a little deformed, so right there, that's good. It's a little deformed, so it's very hard to paint my, um, my toe in the first, well, it's hard for me anyways because I got a belly hanging out in front of me, so it's kind of hard, but that brush doesn't help with it. So, um, I'm going to, I'll show you what it looks like, but it's, let me see here, let me investigate a little derba. It is a really pretty color. I probably will wear it. Maybe I can form, I'm looking at it right now, maybe I can form the brush so it all not be so funky. All right, and the last thing that we have, or I have, Ipsy Bag kind of caters a little bit more to, 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 to you, and this is a Max Lash Volumizer Mascara by Ducey, D-O-U-C-C-E. Doocy? Dussy? Dousy? Dousy? Alright, so I'm always on the look for also a good mascara that volumizes my lashes because I have shorter lashes. And I'm also I also look out um if it runs. And typically if I set my under eye and I set my um uh <laughs> I'll think of it. <laughs> Eyelid, got it. It uh, it doesn't do it, but I'm still on the lookout for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it because mascara doesn't really affect my skin. All right, let's see here. I'm using my phone as a mirror. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do because apparently I can't do it with the phone. But I will try to get closer so you can see. Oh God. <laughs> Hello. I can see, it's gonna do a <laughs> I, okay, so sorry about the face again. My face is like bad, but for some reason, always and my forget about that. My when I do my left eye, it always gets more clumpy than this eye. Always, no matter if I'm using a regular mirror or apparently if I'm using my phone, it always is the same. Um, so we'll give it a shot. So far, I think I kind of like it. We'll give it a shot. I can feel it transferring onto my eyelids right now, which is fine because it it's 
wet. That's not, I'm just saying, I'm trying to, so. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> um, overall, I forgot I painted my nail. And there's a wall like right in front of me. Fudge, how am I gonna get that out? It's not like I can use nail polish remover because the paint will come off too. Um, so anyways, like I was saying before, I messed up my wall with my wet toenail. Um, overall, I like this bag. Yep, overall, I like this bag. I was looking at the swatches on my hand. So once again, it comes with, mine came with Two sheet masks. It came with this mascara. I don't. I still don't know how to say the name. It came with this NYX Whipped. I have no idea how to say that name. I don't know if that's Whipped in French or what have you. I really don't know. Um. I get. I get it as a a, a lip color. But I don't get it as a cheat color. Maybe it's just because of the thickness, but it's, it, if you look at it, it's, um, it looks a little wet still, and I don't know how that would work on your cheeks. But again, I'm assuming if you use less of it, because you wouldn't use that much on your cheeks, if you lose, use less of it, it's not going to look as wet. Um, I also got this blush, which is pretty. I will try it out before I judge it too much. And this pretty blue, which I've messed up my wall with. Honestly, Joe will probably not even notice because this is my side of the loft. All right. Um, that was my June Ipsy bag. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to.